emotions on on the victory. Um, you seem happy, but a little frustrated as well. So give me give me the emotion right now that you've had a little chance to let it sink in. Uh, you know, I trained very hard for this fight. Um, I made sure that I was in extreme shape. I made sure that my weight cut, I started very early so I wouldn't have any uh, endurance problems. And then, uh, you know, the first round was slow because I knew he comes out with a lot of power in the first round. But then the second round and third round, I thought he was doing the, the running man. And, you know, I'm on this. I'm on pay-per-view, right? They're giving me a pay-per-view uh, opportunity. So I really wanted to put on a, a, a fight for the fans. And he was running. So, you know, I, I apologized for the, for the antics. But I, I wanted to put on a fight. And I was trying to bait him in to start get the swinging with me. And, you know, he was saying, let's go back. But then he was he kept running. So, you know, that's why I was a little bit frustrated. And then after the fight, I, I heard it was a split. And I heard it just, I was like, damn. And, you know, we both know there's been some crazy decisions in the past before. So, you know, every, every time you hear a split, you're like, damn. Yeah. You talk about doing the weight cut properly and all that. Obviously, whatever happened with his, it didn't work. Um, at the weigh-ins, you know, when you hear what he weighs, frustration? I mean, any thoughts of maybe not taking the fight or did it anger you? No, definitely. You know, if I, if I wouldn't have taken the fight, I think I would have been in my right. You know, everybody knows this is the best fighting league in the world. It gets no no higher than this. And to come in five pounds over and, you know, everybody that's seen a fighter cut weight, you know, it, it's hard. You know what I mean? You'll be in the bath for, for a good 20, you know, 30 minutes, 1.6 pounds, 1.2 pounds. You know what I mean? That stuff adds up. So for him to come over five pounds over, that's, that's crazy. And he's got a shorter trip. From, uh, from here to, uh, than I do. You know what I mean? I'm coming all the way from Canada. You know what I mean? And he's just coming from Russia, and he still can't make weight. That's crazy. Yeah. You mentioned the antics in the third round. I will say they were actually pretty entertaining. I mean, I thought it was fun to watch. So, I mean, you said, do you feel regret for doing that now, or, or what do you no, think? No, I, I, it's, you know, I, 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 I wish I, I did it without the cussing, because I heard him saying, you know, watch your mouth. But, you know, I'm saying this is cage fighting. I, I've, I've never been told to wash my mouth before, so I was, I was just thrown off. But I was trying to bait him in for a dog fight. You know, let's finish the fight strong. Let's let's do this. Let's put on a, a show for the fans. And he was comfortable doing the running man. So that was just whatever. Last thing for me, I know you want a ranked opponent. I certainly deserve that. Um, what, what, what Do you have a name in mind? I mean, is there a matchup that makes sense or, or when you'd like to fight? I want a stand-up fighter, you know what I mean? I, I can't think of anybody at the top of my mind. I think my manager said something about Shane Burgos. He doesn't look like he'd run, you know what I mean? But just give me somebody who's going to fight and, and, and not run, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, I, I take it up on myself. I'm going to go back to the drawing boards and, and summon my you know, inner Jamaican and, and get my Hussein Bolt on and, and, and chase these guys down and, and stop them from running and work on that but you know other than that give me somebody who's who's really about it okay uh just going back to the the weigh-ins and stuff like that does it uh annoy you even a little bit more knowing that he he weighed in pretty early and he wasn't really sweating or anything he could have you know still tried to lose a bit more weight did, did you notice that well that was the one of the main reasons i said yes to the fight anyways i'm like this dude took the first bus um to to the weigh-in so you know because when we were looking at him i was like i don't think this dude's on weight you know what I mean? So when he got on that first bus, I was like, damn, he made weight, like good on him. And then for him to come in five pounds over, um, it was crazy. But you, none of you guys even know this, but um, I went to go check myself on the official scales and he was on the treadmill when in his uh, in the sweatsuit just dying on the treadmill. Like, I mean, dying, right? And like, looking like a dog. And uh, I come in on weight, you know what I mean? I already knew I was on weight, but I walked in there, you know, I grilled his teammates, like, you know, I grill them, I grill them up. And then I get on the scale all full of energy. I'm like, ah, I'm on weight. And I'm with my nutritionist coach, Declan. I'm like, yes, that's champ stuff right there. That's champ stuff. He's like, how you feel? I feel great. I'm ready to war. That's how we do it. And he's on the treadmill, like just dying. And I guarantee after we left out of that room, he quit his weight cut. Cause he, he, he just, he knew I was on weight and you know, I, I just, I guarantee that's what made him quit. You know what I mean? It was funny though. Cause I, I, I guarantee it i just took the energy right from him not bad work um and going back to the the referee saying don't cuss is that you, you mentioned it distracted it threw you off a little bit was that distracting to hear that no it wasn't distracting i was just like i've never been told not to cuss in a fight i didn't was that a rule is that, is that just here or, i don't know like you know we're, we're we're coming to knock each other out I, I never knew watching your mouth was important do you think it's do you think it's reasonable to say that you should stop swearing, but you're in a fight. Like, do you find that a weird contradiction? No, you know, whatever, whatever, wherever you are, you know, you got to respect the rules. You know what I mean? I was just frustrated that he didn't want to put on a, 
a show for the fans. We're on pay-per-view, man. Izzy's fighting for the title. Like, all eyes are on us. You know what I mean? You're representing your country. I'm representing my country. I don't want people saying, like, yo, this is, you know, the lamest fight ever. You know what I mean? I want to put on a show. You know, he's he's representing a higher power, you know, his people. I'm representing a higher power for my people. So I, I wanted to put on a show. And, uh, you know, it wasn't the fight I wanted. But, you know, I think the judges saw that I was bringing the fight and I was the one who was ready to go to war and he didn't want it. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you. Came right here. Uh, you mentioned uh, Canada, Nigeria, which you have, and Jamaica, and you couldn't bring all three flags out to the octagon. Why did you choose Nigeria over the other two? Um, you know, Izzy's fighting tonight. Um, you know, a lot of Nigerians are going to be watching. I am half Nigerian. You know what I mean? I was born in Canada, but I am half Nigerian. And uh, I, I thought it was very soon. You know what I mean? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of my people are going to be watching tonight, and they only allowed me one flag. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, after the COVID, they'll have a UFC Jamaica someday, and I'll be able to do that as well. What's the, the sense of the rise of MMA in Nigeria? Do you have a sense of it? I mean, we saw the, the billboards with Iz, Izzy's face all over it leading up to this fight, but is it s continuing to gain traction right now? Yeah, for sure. Nigerians are, are just natural athletes, man. They're like, you know, Nigerians, Jamaicans, we're, we're, we're natural athletes. I'm blessed to have both genetics in me. And uh, I think uh, as long as, you know, Nigerians, uh, you'll see a lot more Jamaicans as well get to the scene and, and uh, start using their natural... Uh, you know, genetics and as well adding some skill to that, you'll see a lot more a lot more of us. You spoke a little bit uh, with Habib after the fight. What did you guys say to each other? I just said, remember me? Because, um, you know, back in the day, I fought one of his teammates and I bodied him. So I just said, you know, remember me? He said, of course, brother. I said, I respect you. I said, uh, you know, because, you know, that can always been really respectful to me. You know, the... Some of the Russian fans have been saying some crazy, rude stuff that I'm not even going to repeat here, but you can only imagine, you know what I mean? So, but, you know, that camp, they have always been respectful. They've never no, said no, nothing, nothing ill will to me. So I think, you know, their fans and people following them should, should look after them and, and follow in their footsteps. There's no need to, there's no need to get race into it. You know, just, it's just do your thing, man, where it's a fight. It's not race against race. It's just, we're, we're athletes. We're going to war. As you said, uh, second uh, fighter from Habib's camp. Would you be open to someone else if someone happened to call you out from his camp? If they're ranked. All right, thank you. Thank you.